It's a typical day at Matson's Market in Burlington Township, New Jersey. Shoppers line up to pay for their groceries. I think those are on sale too. Only on this day. E EBT. I'm sorry? EBT. Oh, food stamps. Okay. One shopper is coming up short. It says insufficient funds. It says what? Insufficient funds. This could be a scene playing out in your own hometown grocery store. I'm a single parent and I work. I have four kids. A mother or father struggling to feed their family. With food stamp usage up 20% from last year, with a striking one in eight Americans needing assistance, we wanted to see how fellow shoppers might react to someone in need. I'm going to try it again. So we rigged these cameras inside the store to capture these women, all actors we've hired. I have $50 on my car. Along with the cashier, she's part of our team too. You don't have enough on there. Take off the baby. Okay. There's no way. I have no money on my car. Can we put this back? Okay. At the cash register, our first actor tries to check out. This has never happened before. How much does she need? 16. In only okay. a matter of minutes. No, please. Thank you. Thank you. Help from not just one, but two generous strangers. Wait, you want to back on? Go ahead, open That's okay. You pay for the baby food. <laughs> Minutes later, when our actor's food stamp card is denied again. That's all right. Give it to her. Give it to her. Okay. Thank you very much. It seems like everyone in this small town store wants to help. Okay. Until our actor steps into that checkout line Sorry. one more time. This never happened to me before. This man listens, appearing sympathetic no, no. to our actor in distress. I don't have any cash. But then, out of nowhere, watch this man. He counts just enough money to cover his own groceries. And then he offers the rest to our actor. I'm so embarrassed. I would do it if I had more cash. I understand. I'm lucky to have a job still, so. <laughs> it's time to meet this good Samaritan. I'm John Quinones with the TV show, What Would You Do? Yes. And this is all part of a scenario about what you would do if you saw somebody in need. You know, it is tough times for a lot of people, you know, and a lot of people don't have jobs now. And, you know, like she was saying, she's a single mother. She has four kids. I mean, how, how could you not help somebody like that? It's the least I could do, you know? So paying it forward. You know. Exactly. You, know, you do good things for people and good things come back to you. We try it again and this time Oh my God. This young man appears to hear everything. Sorry to hold up the line y'all. Just... Yet we wondered if he was ignoring our actor's troubles. How much money do I need? Can you take the form? Then, to our surprise, help from a passerby. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. The generous donor rushes off without comment. But remember that first man who we thought seemed indifferent to our mom in need? Well, he says he knows a thing or two about what our actor has just experienced. How did you feel? Uh, I actually I felt bad for her. I wish I could have helped, but you know, like you said, time is hard right now, and I didn't, I didn't even have the money to help her. Like she said, she was going through EBT. That's the same thing I have. You're also on food stamps? Yes. And you bought that with food stamps? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Things are tough. Yeah, it is. It really is. Consistently, throughout the day, fellow shoppers offered to help our mom. The few who didn't told us they simply didn't have the money. But we wondered, what will happen if a fellow shopper feels the giving has gone too far. Maybe you've milked the system long enough. How about that? We decide to up the ante and add another actor to the mix. I have a job, too. Well, what's the problem? Food stamps. All right, here we go with this again. At first glance, this woman seems distracted by a phone call. Um, it's insufficient funds. That's food stamps, right? Yes. But then... Now I'm going to take these off. It'll probably go down a little bit more. Okay. Go ahead. I'll pay for it. Word. Go ahead and get her stuff. Gracias, de vera. Enter our rude customer. You're really going to pay for her? I can pay you back. You have an address. Bag your I... stuff up. Go ahead. No, I, I can pay you back. No. Bag your stuff up. It's okay. It's a blessing. Take it as a blessing. She can't speak English. I mean... At first, the woman tries to ignore the nasty commentary. But God is blessing you to take your stuff and, and feed your family, okay? Okay? Gracias. Right. Gracias.
until she hears something she really doesn't like. That doesn't help these people. It really doesn't. Is it your money or is it my money? I it's my money. Let me let me spend my money the way I want. God told me to bless her so she can feed her family, let her feed her family. That's that's a wonderful thing, but the problem is that doesn't help people in that position. Goodbye. You're embarrassing people. Like seriously, let me this is our business right here. Thank you. Then watch this young man who swoops in to escort our actor out of the store and out of earshot of the brewing argument. Now, if you take your bags out, you're welcome. God, Thank you. No problem. Thank you. But this kind shopper has a few last words for our resident bully. I've been a mother who had a hard time. Now, God bless you with a good job and support my family. Everybody has hardships, but if you can help the next person, help them. It's time to de escalate. Hi, ma'am. I'm John Quinones. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's all part of <laughs> Please, come here, come here. You're amazing. You're just amazing. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay? Oh, you're on TV. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where is that man? He was down to you. <laughs> this is Lorraine. Hi, I'm so sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Why did you step in? I know how it is. I've been in the situation before yeah. where you just don't have enough. You're like, okay, can you just put back that pepper? <laughs> you know, so. You've been there? Yes. I have. You paid for the whole thing. Yeah. You probably need the money. I do. And we all do. But you know what? If you can help somebody else, yes. do yes. it. Virginia Willis's fiery spirit and generosity must have been contagious. When our heckler is at it again, you either have the money on the card or you don't, though. You have I cash? Have, I don't have cash. No, I don't have cash. Do you have any type of money? No, I don't. I mean, you know, Typical. I... Typical. Shoppers from all directions come to the rescue. This is an abuse in the system. And here's the bailout. First, this man offers cash. And then this woman pushes her way through to help. Help out here. Okay. okay. Thank you. Can is this helping her, though? You know what? Maybe it is, and maybe it isn't, but right in this very moment... I mean, I don't know that it's a Her help. baby needs food, and guess what? We're going to give it to her. Okay, oh, so you. let's yeah, just so do much. it. Thank you so much. And if I'm an ass, that's okay. Hi there. How are you? Oh, I'm John oh, no. Quinones. Oh, no. What would you do with a TV show? Oh, thank God. You were amazing. Oh, I'm... Oh, okay? no. Oh, oh, please don't. Oh, no. You were so oh. sweet. Why get involved? You don't know. Because everybody in this world deserves a chance. We need to believe that there's hope and there are good people in this world. And then I'm standing here with no makeup on <laughs> and gray roots and everything else. Who because, cares about you know, them? I mean, all this crazy stuff. And, and it doesn't matter who I am or who you are or who you are. And I do know you. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It, we're here to make a difference. If we can. Period. <laughs>